Do you play basketball? I don't, but that doesn't matter. For the sake of this exercise, let's pretend you don't. Now imagine starting in the game of basketball without ever having touched a ball. Your aim is to make it to the championship, a metaphor for success in your entrepreneurial journey. Thanks, ChatGPT. Now in the first scenario, you dive in alone. You hustle, dribble, grab your paddle and kick the ball through the hoop for a field goal or whatever they do in basketball. You try your best, you go in with all the energy and grit you have. You're determined, but the nuances of the game are just overwhelming. You find yourself committing fouls you didn't know existed, missing shots you thought you'd perfected, and losing games despite your best efforts. The championship appears to be a dream growing more distant with each game. Now picture the second scenario where you have a seasoned coach, Coach K, by your side. He doesn't play the game for you, no, no, but he gives you pointers. He trains you in dribbling, helps you perfect your shot, and instills a sense of discipline and teamwork. When you falter, he shows you how to improve. When you win, he teaches you humility. He guides you to understand the game's strategy and how to adapt under different circumstances. Next thing you know, you're dribbling dexterously, leaving defenders dazed and spectators dazzled. Frantic fans fervently favour your fantastic free throws and suddenly you're shooting and sinking several slick shots successfully. The guidance of Coach K doesn't guarantee an easy path to the championship, but equips you with the skills, strategy and the mindset to pursue it effectively. This is akin to entrepreneurship. Going it alone might seem appealing, but the counsel of a coach offers the insights and course corrections that can make the path to success more navigable. Who's Coach K? I've no idea. I think he's an American college basketball coach. All I know is I've been watching The Bear. Check it out. It's really good. But it doesn't matter who your mentor is. In fact, it doesn't need to be just a single mentor. Numerous renowned coaches have left indelible marks on their respective fields. In the realm of basketball, Phil Jackson, Michael Jordan's coach, is a standout. He guided the Chicago Bulls to six NBA titles between 1991 and 98. Jackson excelled in building cohesive teams and managing diverse personalities. Dennis Rodman, anyone? Empowering his players to perform at their best. The Last Dance, awesome documentary. In the world of tennis, Roger Federer has worked with several coaches throughout his illustrious career, including Peter Carter, Tony Roach, and Stefan Edberg. Each contributed uniquely to Federer's game, and none of them ever won a Grand Slam. Sorry, that's that's bullshit. That's that's not true. Stefan Edberg, who coached him from 2014 to 2015, was a highly successful professional tennis player before becoming a coach. Edberg won six Grand Slam singles titles during his playing career, two Australian Open titles in 1985 and 1987, two Wimbledon titles in 1988 and 1990, and two US Open titles in 1991 and 1992. His coaching helped Federer, especially in developing his serve and volley technique, which is a skill Edberg was particularly known for during his playing days. Okay, so one of them did. Let's get off sports. Tony Robbins, a renowned life and business strategist, although not a sports coach, has been a mentor to many successful individuals across various fields. Robbins often emphasizes the importance of having multiple mentors each bringing different perspectives and expertise. He believes that successful people learn from others who have achieved greatness in their field, absorbing their knowledge and experiences. And that's the point. Having multiple mentors or coaches can provide numerous benefits. It's quite rare for successful people to argue against mentorship, as many acknowledge the positive influences and assistance they've received from others throughout their careers. However, some individuals advocate for a less traditional approach to learning and mentorship, emphasizing personal exploration and self-teaching. Elon Musk is a well-known proponent of self-learning. Musk is famous for his intense reading habits and his ability to absorb and apply complex information independently. Musk, of course, is now the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, and he's doing some really good stuff over at Twitter. No? No? Oh well, his approach doesn't rule out seeking advice or learning from others' experiences either. It just shifts the emphasis towards personal initiative, experimentation, and learning from one's own mistakes. The concepts of mentorship versus going it alone can be closely tied to the difference between a done-with-you service and a do-it-yourself service, otherwise known as DIY. While self-learning can certainly be valuable and rewarding, it also comes with some potential downsides. Lack of guidance, limited feedback, you run the risk of reinventing the wheel and isolation, which leads to a lack of motivation or even the dreaded burnout. On the other hand, a done with you service is similar to having a mentor. The service provider works closely with you, offering guidance, sharing expertise, and assisting you through the process. 
like a mentor, a done with you service can accelerate your learning curve, help avoid common pitfalls and ensure a higher degree of success. Now, this approach might be particularly helpful for those who value collaboration, personalized guidance and efficiency. You don't have to do it alone. You can try and you can succeed alone, but it's gonna take you way longer and you may never reach or even know your true potential. So what would you like to improve? What are you trying to achieve? If you wanna be really good at basketball, I certainly can't help you. But if you're a freelancer, a web developer, a digital service provider, or an agency owner, you might wanna get in touch. Do our tenacious training techniques turn timid trainees to triumphant talents? Can our comprehensive coaching create confident champions? Will the rigorous ROI reviews rouse remarkable recurring revenue returns? Let's find out, shall we? Have a chat with our team and let's get you on your way to learning some different perspectives and expertise and reaching your full potential. I'm Troy Dean. Keep it in your trackies.